Blue Girl Beginnings is very, it's just helped me more with like knowing what I wanted to do in life. So I also did Blue Girl Beginnings in high school. They felt like a second family for me on campus. All of my uncles went to UWEC and my aunt and my mom and my dad. I started going to pre-college programs when I was 11 years old. We came every summer for like five summers. It was the math and science program. I always had an interest in computers from the time that I found out what a computer was. I never had access to that. Like once I got to tinker with, with them during one of those pre-college camps, I knew that I wanted to do something with electronics. When it came time to graduate from high school, I never thought about any other school other than Eau Claire. I met the Wilson brothers when they were students here at UW-Eau Claire and lived in my residence hall when I was a residence hall director a long time ago. Learning about their experience really inspired me to make um, available more programming for underserved populations on our campus so that we can work to remove those structural barriers that prevent low-income first generation and students of color from accessing the same opportunities to get onto post-secondary education that their fully resourced peers have. You have to have people that lead the way. And if you don't have those people that lead the way, then people that look like me just come there, realize I don't like it, and leave. I mean, when you're the other, like, it, you just, you feel like the other. And you have to have, you have to build environments where you don't feel that way. Okay. Whenever you're done with it. It's I exciting to see Destiny now working at UW-Eau Claire. She serves as a UW-Eau Claire Serve Wisconsin AmeriCorps member and as part of our Blue Gold Beginnings learning community. We're doing our robotics camp. We're doing mostly like helping them with like icebreaker activities and like helping them if they need help with the robots. Since it was online, we did cahoots and we like made oobleck and we made slime. Since we've been in like quarantine, you like only saw the people from where your like their computer camera was. You got to see what it's like for them at like home. My counselor when I was there was half in like the building and half was in his own like dorm room. So we got to see what that was like. The place where I grew up, now I'm sending my daughter there and my niece to know that like, I'm gonna put her in an environment that worked for me. It's like I'm sending my kid home. This is a perfect example of students participating in a college access program, accessing post-secondary higher education, going into their careers, and now sending their kids back to our campus to participate in those similar programs for the future. I think now more than ever, the work of Blue Gold Beginnings and other programs like ours need to be considered and amplified so that individuals have equal access and can maximize their full potential. This is a beautiful story about the Wilson family. They have maximized their full potential by having additional access to opportunities. And the fact that the next generation is getting the opportunity to take advantage of the great things UW Claire has to offer is something that we can be really proud of. But we also have to work really diligently to make sure that others have those similar opportunities.